Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 So I released uh, a word yesterday. I made a video. I'm sorry. And I didn't release it. Um, and what I'm going to say now is, is still around that word. But it it is just I'm just going to doctor it up a little bit because number one, um, and if you've been listening to me for any amount of time, you know, sometimes I... I just get that Holy Ghost fire, that Holy Ghost boldness. And there are some people that, you know, they just, it's just, it's a lot for them, right? It's just a lot for them. And, and here's the thing. It's a lot for some people, even with the intensity that it is. It's just, it's just people shrink from it. People shrink from it because they either get offended or people shrink from it because they think I can't do that. But yet it is it is a word that needs to be said. It is a word that God has called those of you that are assigned to me and assigned to this ministry. It is a word. And so I spent some time with the Lord this morning. I had a wonderful time with the Lord all morning. And so God God brought it back, right? God brought it back to me. And so I'm going to release it and um, in a way that I really want you to be able to digest it. Because here's the thing. If the word doesn't get in you, it's not any good, right? It's just not any good. And I've been saying this for a while. I've been saying this for a while. And God has been continuing to put it in front of me. If there's ever been a time where you need to be so mindful of where you are eating, it is now. It is now, right? And so... Um, I just, I want to talk about what God was talking to me about, right? Because again, for those of you that are assigned here, for those of you that are fed here, for those of you that are, are being nourished here, right? For those of you that are sowing here, for those of you that are listening here, right? God is calling us to, there are some things that God has just absolutely mandated in our lives and the enemy has put in over time to keep us out of it, right? There are those of us that our harvest is long overdue. And when I was speaking this word yesterday, when I say that, when I when I say that on other videos, people feel some type of way. Religious people feel some type of way. It feels too new agey to talk about a guarantee from God. It talk it makes us feel like we're superior or we're higher than God. And I don't know what Bible these people are reading, and I don't know how many videos of mine they've watched, but there is nothing in this house that is in any way aligned with anything new age, anything law of attraction. Listen, it is one thing to be positive, and it is one thing to display power, and that is what this house does. That is what this house does, right? And so as the Holy Ghost was talking to me, there are those of us that we are long overdue. We are long overdue, and if it offends somebody, that God has mandated me and this house to press in for the harvest that he has mandated for us, then this isn't the ministry for you. As a matter of fact, you may want to stop listening to this video right now. And so there are those of us and our harvest is long overdue. Um, I grew up in the country. I grew up in the country before I moved to Atlanta and my grandfather was a farmer. And so he knew when the harvest was for certain things, right? He knew how long it took for tomatoes to, to, to bloom versus peanuts, right? He knew how long it took for okra versus watermelon, right? And so I don't know where we, where we, where we got that mindset, that doctrine that we, we can't expect God to show up for us, right? There were people in the Old Testament that went through for whatever reason, for whatever reason, their process was long. And we somehow have some, some, uh, we, we, we somehow feel that it makes us holy and right with God to, to be in the wilderness for a long time and to be processed for a long time and to have these, these situations where I'm going to hold on like Abraham and I'm, listen, you understand what I'm saying? First of all, by default, we've already been holding on like Abraham for way too long, for way too long. And so when the Holy Ghost was talking to me, and I'm, I'm really going to make this video not that long because I want the people of God to get it. But what I wanted to tell you 
is God has been talking to me, right? And I've been telling you guys that, listen, it is harvest time. It is harvest time. So you need to do what you need to do to get on the field, right? And there are situations and there are things that have been trying to distract us and keep us from getting on the field. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not your time. Don't don't go. You, you're still dealing with something. No, no. Those people out there, they've put in more time with you. They, they've prayed more than you. They've been through more than you. No, 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 no. Those people, and I'm telling you, that's what the enemy does. He constantly wants to disqualify us. He constantly wants to tell us, you got a little bit more warfare to, 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 to do. You got a little bit more qualifying to do, right? That is what the enemy is constantly calling for us to do. And let me tell you, First of all, it is harvest time. And if there is something that is keeping you off the field, you need to talk to the Holy Ghost about it. You need to talk to the Holy, you need to take that victim mindset. You need to take that woe is me. And listen, now is the time. Now is the time to really discern. Listen, because if it, and I've said this before, I said this on the other word, if it's sin, if there is something that's saying not yet, you need to know whether or not it's, it's the voice of God or it is, if it is the voice of the enemy, right? And God God had two people to to release a word around Daniel 10 this morning. Like I, I listened to two messages this morning during my um time, my walking time, and both and I mean like both of them touched on Daniel 10. And what I took from those messages, right, is the fact that reinforcement was there. That reinforcement was there, that Daniel, listen, Daniel was not eating. Daniel was continuing to pray 21 days later. 21 days later, Daniel was continuing to pray. Daniel was continuing to stat. And let me tell you something, we don't have that type of tenacity. We don't have that type of endurance. We don't have that type. We let the enemy talk us out of sowing. We let the enemy talk us out of fasting. We let the enemy talk us out of living consecrated lives. We let the enemy talk us out of praying. We let the enemy talk us out of reading our Bibles, but yet we're frustrated. Oh, I can't hear from God because you don't have no word in you because you're not putting your flesh. Let me tell you something. And I've said this before, when I listen to a word that resonates with me, when I'm being fed somewhere, I give. I plant a seed right then and right there into that anointing. I'm not buying a blessing from God, but when I recognize and I know a man or woman of God just said something and deposited something into me that's gonna change my life, guess what? I right then and there partner with that anointing. We let, and yet, we let the enemy talk us out and disqualify us in every given way. And that's why, that's why as, it's, as it is harvest time, we're like, it's not my turn. It's not my turn. It's not my turn. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Let me tell you something. You can't just get excited about this word and throw your hands in the air and receive it. No, it, it, let me tell you what God is saying, right? That's the beginning. But like Daniel, you got you to put in a little bit more press, right? So again, Daniel wasn't eating. Daniel was 21 days later. He was still praying. He was still in that same spot. Listen, if there's something Thing. If you've been receiving and you've been in receiving mode and ain't nothing happening, you need to do something a little bit more. Maybe you need to be fasting. Maybe you need to be reading your Bible more. Maybe you need to be sewing. Maybe you, you need to be like, what more do I need to do? What more do I need to do? Because my harvest is long overdue. My harvest is long overdue. I planted those, that, that okra two years ago and ain't nothing popped off yet. I planted that tomato 10 years ago. Where's the marriage? Where's the healing? Where's the, what more do I need to do? What, cause let me tell you something. Something could be warring against your manifestation. Something could be, and we don't wanna, no, no, I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait on God and I'm gonna wait on his timing. And God is saying, listen, heaven been dispatch your stuff. The angel said from the, the angel told Daniel from the first day, from the first day, like I had to get some reinforcement. I had to get some reinforcement. Heaven is like, listen, let me tell you something. And this is what I said yesterday. God means business. God means business. God means business. Today, I listened to two messages that both referenced that. And God was saying to me, I mean business. And listen, the first seed I planted, right? 
I didn't expect to plant two. So the first time I was like, oh, okay, that's a, that's, that's, that's a, that's a, ah, but I did it. So now I'm listening to the next message and I'm like, I, yeah, yeah. And I, and God is saying to me, how could you not? How could you not when you know this word is for you? Don't you want some reinforcement? Don't you want some reinforcement? Don't you want for, for if your stuff is held up for, for heaven to dispatch? Like, no, that thing, uh-uh, you're not holding up that thing. You're not holding up that thing. And that was 21 days. There are those of us that have been waiting 21 months and 21 years. But when a man or woman of God tells us to press in a little bit deeper and pray a little bit more and do, uh, it don't take all that. I'm just going to wait on God. Then let me tell you, you're going to be wandering and wandering and wandering and wandering because I'm telling you, it is harvest time. It is harvest time. It is harvest time. And the delay and the denial from hell has been too long for us. It's been too long. We've been doing everything we know to do and nothing has been nothing has been moving. Nothing has been shifting. We have been in receiving mode and nothing is moving. So if you've been receiving and nothing has been moving, you got to press. You got to press. You need to press. You need to press. You need to put a mandate on that harvest. You need to put a mandate on that thing. And it doesn't, I don't care. I'm telling you in the name of Jesus, and I mean this for every single person listening to me. I don't care about the demons, and I don't care about the imps that come under this video and say, no, 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 you can't be saying God is going to move for people. If we don't serve a God that is going to move for us, why are we here? Why are we here if we love and we worship and we serve a God who will not move for us? Why are we here? Why are we here? So I just, I just feel this for us because again, for those of us, for those of you that have been assigned here, because I know what my struggle has been. This thing been held up too long. This thing been held up too long. So I'm telling you, with all the love that I have for you, you need to tell God, listen, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? I'm telling you. And if, and, and if you don't know what you need to do, do it anyway. Like, okay, well, you know what? In the meanwhile, I'm going to be on my face praying a little bit more. I'm going to be giving a little bit more. I'm going to be fasting. I'm going to be shouting. I'm going to be worshiping a little bit more. But something going to shake. And I mean that for this ministry in the name of Jesus. If you've listened to me from the very first video I released, I have said this will be a ministry of demonstration. We will not be stagnant. We will not be standing still. We will not days or months later still be waiting on marriages, still be waiting on healing, still be waiting on deliverance. No, we will not. And if that is too much for you, you are not assigned here. You are not assigned here if that is too much for you. Because that is the mantle that I carry on my life. So, I just wanted to release that. Because that has been in my belly since yesterday. And I tried to pull back with some of the intensity that I did yesterday. But, you know, God means business for us. God loves us. And he means business. And this is our time. And we will not be delayed. God, I will call me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If God is not a God that we can depend on, why are we here? Why are we here, church? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, whosoever, for those of us that shall call on the name of Jesus, we shall be saved. So, uh, yeah. 
God just means business. So I'm asking you to press in. I'm asking you to press in for what God has for you. I'm asking you to not be delayed. I'm asking you to not be denied. I'm asking you to do what God is saying that you need to do. And if you don't hear, do it anyway. So I love you. I just... I cover this word with the blood of Jesus because this is a right now activated word from God. So be blessed, church.